Can you explain oneness Pentecostalism, please? I don't understand how they get this from Scripture. Thank you. Um, basically, the, the oneness doctrine, it's not just Pentecostal, but there's lots of groups that are oneness. Uh, the concept is that they, they kind of recognize the Trinity in a sense. I mean, the three persons. But instead of saying that there's a Father, Son, and a Holy Spirit, and that they exist together eternally, which is what a Trinitarian would say. So there always has been Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And you could see them doing things at the same time. When Jesus was being baptized, Jesus was standing in the water, the Father was speaking from heaven, and the Spirit was descending in the form of a dove. So three separate people or persons doing different things at the same time. Uh, the, and that's the main problem with oneness, is the oneness people, it used to be called... Um, monarchianism. There's another word with that too. Anyway, the concept is that there's one God and only one God and one person, which would be the Father. And then the Father incarnated in Jesus. And then when Jesus left, he came back in the form of the Holy Spirit. So there's only one person at one time. So Jesus is the Father who also is the Holy Spirit. The church fathers basically say that's, that's heretical. Uh, you can't believe that Jesus is the Father. You, you can't be saved if you have that kind of a theology. I don't know that that's necessarily true, but that's what they said. When Jesus said, you have to believe that I am, or you die in your sins, that makes it a very, very important thing to look at. But yeah, basically, they believe that Jesus and the Father and the Holy Spirit are kind of all one and the same, just different titles for the same being. Whereas a Trinitarian would say that there are three separate persons in the Godhead, and they coexist equally all the time. Uh, the definition of the Trinity is one God manifested in three persons who are co-equal, co-substantial, and co-eternal. So, which basically means three persons in the Godhead that are equal to each other, have always existed in that form, and they're different from anything else. They're all of the same substance. So they're not angels, they're not humans. Angels are not part of the Trinity or a part of God or anything else. Angels are, there's angels and then there's humans and then there's animals and there's other things. So, but they're all creation. Hopefully that helps.